And today's decision comes as we are anticipating a major shift in the Iowa Supreme Court. Next month, the sole Democrat appointed justice Brent Apple will retire, meaning the court will be completely comprised of Republican justices. Now, not a surprise, this ruling generated a lot of strong emotion. Some celebrating, others see this as a sad day for America, and people were quick to organize to make their voices heard. Local 5's Larissa Leone brings us more from a protest in downtown Des Moines. We're here at Central Academy where a protest after the decision of Roe v. Wade being overturned occurred. We will not go back. We will not go back. One of those people in the crowd I spoke with say marginalized communities are the first to be affected. We know that statistically speaking, abortion is um, oppressive to um, those of marginalized communities, um, particularly the indigenous um, females, particularly black indigenous um, people of color. So that is really what this is about. It's about controlling those marginalized communities. Now, a woman I spoke with says this is a loss for everyone, and she's afraid for the younger generation. Oh, it's, it's devastating to women everywhere. I mean, the past have went through so many things to get us to where we were, and now we're taking 50 steps back 50 years ago. And just a reminder, abortion is still legal in Iowa until the state decides that it is not. Now, it is unclear what the direction is for Iowa, but at this time, abortion is still legal in Iowa. Reporting in downtown Des Moines, Larissa Leon, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.